Another big heat for you now, and another first time head to head matchup between these two. Nat Young, who's finaled here in the past, that was back in 2013. What a start for the surfer from Santa Cruz, California. And uh, he grew up surfing a wave called Steamer Lane. And it definitely has some similar characteristics to Bells Beach. It's cold, it has tricky transitions, the reef not so even throughout the ride. It serves up different sections and every wave can have a different look to it. It's going to be interesting to see how the, uh, the judges scale this one. It was a great opening move on the outside bowl. Huge, huge wave. I mean, it was a well overhead wave and he just attacked that lip. It went past the bowl pretty quickly and he, this wave sort of uh, went along the outside and he, it's one of those ones that sort of fluff over on the outside part. He doesn't get to the shore break, but he gets a he gets a finishing turn in. My dad's the best. <laughs> yeah, you heard. Trained him. Trained him. <laughs> Trained well. <laughs> back to you guys. You. Cheers, Laura. Yeah, Owen Ryan, emotional. We'll get back to that story in just a moment. But Kyle Belly up at this stage. On his second ride, had a .5 throw away earlier on, but this guy has been just in rare form this year. What a start he had. And he's uh, well positioned on the leaderboard at the moment. Looking fantastic. Sitting in sixth place. A little bit of a, uh, a trip up over there in, in Portugal, but, but other than that, a couple of semi-finals. Absolutely ripping. Kaya's had two of them. I mean, you know, he's in incredible form. A real purple patch, and he gets going on this one. Gets that one huge outside move, and then it goes past the bowl section. He winds it back. He knows he's going to stick with this one. And that's only got that 417, so not a, a major deficit here to overcome. And Kai has got to deal with this little choppy section here. Not a major finishing turn, but uh, puts a little bow on it. It's this turn here, though, Ronnie. Unbelievable, yeah. Kayo, always really well-rounded uh, as a youngster. Turns like that, the airs, he had them all. Uh, much like uh, Adriano de Souza. Once he got to the tour, started working on that kind of stuff. You know, deep rail calves and clean combinations. And it's seen him go all the way to the final here at Bills. Yeah, uh, Emi Kalani DeVault's going to take on Kelly Slater too. What a great opportunity for Emi. Oh. I mean... Everyone relishes their opportunity to serve a head-to-head -head heat with the GOAT. As we see Nat Young now, his second ride. He's in second place. Kayo dropped the 517. Nat needs a just a 1.51. He's probably already got it to get into the lead, but he wants more. Hits the end section. A well-timed manoeuvre from a guy that knows this location so well. Yeah, that was no short break. That was a big end section. On a, on a bigger wave, it had a massive amount of white water to deal with. He would have known that taking off. He handled it, he just handled it with a plum. Kind of a bit similar to his first ride in some respects, Ronnie. Look at how much white water's on the face. He's, he nearly lost the fins there. It sort of uh, probably hindered the uh, degree of how vertical it could go on that opening move. I'm, I'm wondering if the judges might sort of take that into account. I'm sure they will. But the ending here is... Uh, a lot more solid than a shorey ending. A swell in the five to eight foot range and uh, the wind favourable, nice and light at the moment. Nat Young is up on a good looking wall, trying to get rid of a 4.17 here. He's just been on from the outset, Nat. He just needs to find waves that provide a bit more opportunity. I think he'll link together some, some huge backhand hits. Let's see what Nat got done on his rod. Yeah, well, this is uh, very similar to that meaning wave that Owen Wright got. A series of back in. Uh, this turn here is beautiful, really vertical. And again, he really gets into that back end rhythm. The smaller waves allow you to do that, especially the ones that come along and hit the contour of, the, of that reef perfectly. And that wave didn't have an inside section. It was all happening on that little bowl section. But he gets four moves in. That is just such good technique. And this turn here, Ronnie, this is the money one. He comes around from the back, looks over his shoulder. No, it was the one before, but he got three really good turns that just hit the, you know, came from deeper, but it really hit the ball perfectly. Here goes Kyle Belly. Wow, loses the tail on that first turn. 
went for the combo and unfortunately lost contact with the equipment. But the judges love it when you hit the bowl and, and throw a bit of risk at it as well. Kaya right on edge there, but just couldn't reel in the float. Yeah, I think you might be right, Bugs. You can see it there, but how's this thing? That was amazing. That combo would have served him well. Yeah. Uh, he lost the back foot. They might hang out at, out at Rincon for a while. See the wind now, the wind shear. Oh, here the goes Kaya. Wow, the alley-oop. It's, it's really the uh, the best air option in this wind, but Kaya just got lost in the, the veil of that wave then. Just over six minutes to go. Set waves approaching on the inside in the red. Kaya Belly chasing a score. Swings into this one. Lots of speed. Goes straight for the lip on that first turn. Just looking a little desperate out there at the moment. His board looks really small under his feet. Nat Young up behind him. Big first turn. Making those subtle adjustments to ensure he stays on his feet. Fading back to the bowl after each move to set up a more vertical approach. And really taking his time. Bigger set wave. And he absolutely hammers the finish. There was a drift on the tail. He liked the feel of it. The body language suggesting that he's pretty happy with himself with that one. His wave choice has been impeccable. I mean, uh, he looks so at home out here. Three, two, one. Well, that's going to be a, a heartbreaking result for Kaio, who, who really carried great momentum through the first two events, has now bombed in the last two contests, but he's got good memories from Margaret's. He'll fire up there, but what about Nat Young? What a performance. Great heat score total, powering through to the next round.